Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Um, today I'm going to show everybody what was my number one most profitable item through Q4. Well, mainly November, December. And believe it or not, I got it at the 99 cent store. Um, 99 cent only, just to be more specific. Um, which is funny because they sell tons of stuff that's not 99 cents. But anyways, I digress. Uh, but yeah, I've cleaned out every store in town, I think. And we have like five or six 99 cent only stores in uh, my town. Um, I ought to go double check the one on the far, far, far end of town. I haven't been there for a minute. So they might have got more in. I actually bought some yesterday. So it's kind of probably shouldn't be showing you guys the video already because they still might be out there. I just sent in like 20 units last week because I've been just going to all the 99 cent stores picking this up. Um, I think I sold probably about 40 of them through November, December. And um, yeah, I'll, when I show you, I'll show you uh, inventory lab and I'll show you like um, what I made on each unit. Cause early on when I first bought them, you know, I sent in a bunch and someone tanked the price like seven or eight dollars and I kind of panicked. And I was like, well, heck I might as well just try get through these. Cause the dude had a whole bunch of them and I don't sell a whole lot of kitchen and the sales ranks like 15,000, which is really, really good. And I knew it was good, but the dude had a whole bunch. I was like, you know, I don't want to be stuck holding this inventory during Q4 and I can reinvest it. So I, I lowered my price and I regret it. I probably cost myself about $80, $100 profit with that mistake. But, um, but yeah, without further waiting, this right here was my number one profitable item. Uh, through the It cost um, $9.99 at the dollar store. So my cost is $10.81 once you factor in tax. And um, most of mine have been selling for $29.99. There's not very many sellers left on the product. Um, but yeah, so that right there, and I kept one, it doesn't work all that great, but you know, my girlfriend was doing the cooking, so she might not have used the right amount of, um, butter or whatever she needed. Yeah. I put you on blast. Yeah. She's giving me the look. <laughs> so anyways, now that I'm done teasing her, you know, the kids had fun. She, um, actually used strawberries and made it look like Olaf was bleeding from his stomach. It was pretty cool because I kept one for the kids. They get a kick out of that. So let me go over to um, Inventory Lab, and I'll, I'll show you, like, the numbers of um, what I did on the, that waffle maker. All right, so here we are. You know, we're on Inventory Lab, and you can see these are all the same item, the Disney Olaf waffle maker. So like I was saying before, you know, I sent them in early November, and, um, you know, I was selling them for twenty four sixty five. And, you know, 1081 is my cost. And I was making like four bucks, three bucks. So my ROI was kind of suspect all up in this area and through November. And um, it was because someone lowballed it. And you can see, like, it held. Because I keep my, when I set my repricer, I'm at 30%. I just set it at 30% so I can move product. So right here, you know, I waited a good two weeks plus almost three weeks to change my price. And I was like, man, this guy just got so many. Let me just get out of it and reinvest my money. So, you know, I was making like 27% ROI, which isn't very good. You want to be, you know, higher than that. And I like to be around 40, 50%, but I'll settle for 30. So then I went and checked it because I will recheck product, especially, you know, during Christmas because, you know, people will sell through and business is crazy. In this time frame, the the Frozen movie came out. I can't remember what date was or was about to come out. So I expected there to be uh, like a bigger influx of people buying um, Frozen products. So I checked again, and as you can see, the price jumped back up to twenty nine ninety nine. I was making eight sixty six each up here. So and then the price dropped for like. A day because you can see these were all on the same day and just one person went in and cut the price and my repricer adjusted and then here we go I sold more three days later for my $29.99 price and again happened right here happened right here where someone dropped the price down 
But for the most part, I was selling them for $29.99. And then the last one I sold was yesterday for $26.67. But I've sold 42. Up here it says 41 sell items. But down here I sold two to one customer. So I sold 42 of them. My average order price ended up being $28.05. You know, I paid $10.62 in fees. So Amazon kept $10.62 on average. <coughs> and then my profit per, per sale was $6.60. And since I had 41 different sales, so we'll pull up the calculator here. So I did 41 sales at $6.66 profit, uh, 60 cents profit, excuse me. So I made $270.60 selling this one product. It's still going strong at $29.99. Uh, I've sent some in last week, and they're on back order because they're getting shuffled around to different warehouses because where I send like 90% of my stuff, it gets redistributed throughout, you know, wherever Amazon puts it. And then I got six more behind me. So I'm sure by the end of this month, I'll be about $400 profit on this one item. Because I think, including what I have with me, I have about 20 that haven't sold yet. And I'm very confident they'll sell because you can see these are selling every day. Even after Christmas, I'm selling multiple a day. Just right now, they're not available. So if I do half of that, would be another 130 bucks. So over about a three-month span, I expect to make about $400 on this one thing I got at the 99 cent only store. So if y'all aren't sourcing at the 99 cent only store, I strongly recommend going there. Um, I have so many things that I buy there that I find at, throughout all the different stores. I actually made over $2,000 in December at the 99 cent only stores. So if you ain't going there, you're really missing out on some money. Um, well, anyways, thanks for um, watching the video. I hope you guys got some value from this. Hopefully you guys are um, sourced in the 9 cent only store because there's a lot of money to be made there. Um, if you guys like and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. It really helped me out. Feel free to leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching.